OK, let me start the proxy. Let me go to Oliver Reynolds. Oliver Reynolds, a different worker. Did I share the base pay report with Oliver? I don't remember. I don't think I did, so can he start? WW base pay details. You see he's not getting the option. Why not? Did I type the spelling correctly? WW base pay right. Oliver doesn't get to see it. Why not? Because the report definition has not been shared with Oliver Reynolds. Isn't it? So if I let me go back to Logan McNeil. Let me go back to Logan. Okay. Now Oliver says. Oliver says that hey. I don't need to run the report myself. Right, I don't need to run it myself. You run it and just share the output with me on a daily basis. I want the report at 6 in the morning in my inbox. Or in my notifications. Then what should Logan do? Tell me, what should Logan do? Oliver doesn't need to have the report. He says, you just send me the report, output every day 6 in the morning. And it should be there in my, in my notifications. I should be notified that I have the report every day, 6 in the morning. So I will schedule the report. Oliver wants it at 6 in the morning. So I would schedule the report. And what are the options? I will say daily recurrence. Okay. Daily recurrence. And I will ask him, okay, for what duration do you want? He might say, okay, I want that the report. This is the base pay details. So I want the information about all the workers who are hired from the beginning of the month till today. Okay. So from the beginning of the month till today, I want the report for everything. I know it will be an incremental report. There will be repetitions, right? So I want that. So, from till today, till today, you want. And first day of the month. First day of the month right. Can we do that? Let's try. First day of the month. So what happens is, if I run the report now, it will give me from April 1st till 17th. If I run it tomorrow, it will be April 1st till 18th. If I run it day after, it will be 1st of April till April 19th. So it is like an incremental output. Not incremental output. Sorry, it's a full data, full file. All the workers who are hired between 1st of April to today's date. And again what happens on 1st of May. It runs the first the from higher date is 1st of May. To higher date is also 1st of May, right? And then it keeps on building. So this is like a monthly report. Some people want this kind of report, so schedule what will be the schedule. What did Oliver tell Logan? What is the schedule? We already have 6 a.m. 6 a.m. right. 
so we will go 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Or maybe you may be a bit careful that. Okay, the report takes around three minutes to run. So I might schedule it at 5.55. Correct. 5.55, just to be careful that it will take three minutes to run. No matter what happens, the report will be there with Oliver before 6 right. So this might be a more smarter approach. 5.55 a.m. You start five minutes early. And then when do you want it? Let's say he wants it from the 1st of May. He wants this report from the 1st of May. Right, I give him from 1st of May. And for the time being, we schedule it till the end of the year. Okay. And who is going to get the output? In an Excel format, okay. I want to share it in an Excel format. And I want to share it with Oliver Reynolds. Right. And I agree to the statement above that yes. He will see the output exactly as I see it, irrespective of Oliver's security. Oliver doesn't have access to this report, but I'm sharing the report output with him. So every day at around 6 in the morning, he will get a consolidated report in his notifications. He will see it in his notifications. He will also see it in his My Reports section, and he will be able to download the report and do whatever he wants to do. Right. Understood. The difference. If you share a report definition, the person has the authority to run the report. If you're sharing the report output, it is like as if you are running the report yourself and you are sending the output to that particular person. Yes. Now, when we do a compensation, statements right. At the end of the year, let's say the tariff increment statements, the letters, and we ask the managers to run it and distribute it with their reportees, right? So what we do is we create the report, the Compensation Merit Statement Report. We create the report and we share it with the managers. We share the report definition with the managers. So does that mean the managers will come in and they will edit the report? No, they don't have the option to edit. They will be able to run the report. Okay. They will run it for each of their employees, right? And they will print the output and send it to their reportees, right? But can they do it for somebody else? For somebody who is not reporting to this manager? The answer is no, because it will be not authorized. Okay. That is the concept of sharing the report definition. So we do it all the time, okay. Because sometimes what happens? We need to share this report with other users because everybody in the system might need to run it. Okay. So that's why we may need to share. But then everybody would see the output as per their authorization levels. But yes, if you want to send them the output exactly as you see it, you would share the output. We will schedule the report and there you will share the output. Okay. Now let's say that we go to this report again. Base pay details report. And you are now going to. You're no longer going to be the owner of this report. Okay. You're not going to be the owner. 
You want to transfer this to somebody else. Okay. You're no longer going to be the owner of this particular report. Then what happens? Okay, then what happens? You want to transfer this to somebody. You can do that as well. So if I go to the report definition of the base pay details report, as of now, who is the owner? The person who created it is, by default, the owner right. As of now, the report is owned by Logan McNeil. But now Logan is no longer going to be the owner. She's moving to a different position. Let's say, or maybe somebody else is going to own this report going forward. So she can transfer the ownership of this report to somebody else. The task to do that is, you go to Custom Report. You have the option to transfer the ownership. Okay. You click on Transfer Ownership and you select the name of the new owner, Steve Morgan. All right, the task was completed successfully. Now if I click on Done Now. The owner of the report is Steve. Steve can make changes to this report now, because Steve is the new owner. Okay. Can I make? Can Logan make the changes? Most likely she can, because she's also having the authority of a report administrator. So that's why she has the option to edit it. Okay, and she's also an HR administrator, so the report is shared with her anyway. But if it was any other user, they would no longer be able to change it. But she can, because she's a security administrator, she's a report administrator. She can change, she can edit. But if it was the other case, if it was anybody else, they would no longer have the authority to edit the report. Okay, once then it is transferred to somebody else. Okay, if you want to transfer it back, you have the option to transfer ownership of custom report. Write transfer ownership of custom reports. You have the option to run this task and you select the name of the report, Webase Fairport. Okay, and whom you want to transfer it to? Logan McNeil Wright. So if you want to transfer it back to Logan McNeil, yes, you can do that. The task was completed successfully. So you can transfer it back and forth. One is you can go to the related actions of the report and take the transfer option, transfer ownership, or you can run this task, transfer ownership of custom reports, and you can transfer the ownership using this as well. 